welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a new video. Um, in this video I'm going to be recreating a look by one of my, probably my favourite drag queen, Adore Delana. Not so much recreating but more inspired. It's that look that she did for like All Stars 2, the promo and then like, it's that sort of like grungy like dark eye, that. I've already got my foundation contour eyebrows snatched, earrings in, all of that. So I'm just gonna snatch my hair back real quick. Get that out the way. Um, well, speaking of this headband, actually, I actually started wearing these types. It's that, like, zigzag. Um, because I saw a door wearing them, so thanks. Okay, so hair is snatched back. Let's get into the makeup. Um, before we start the video, um, I just want to say, um, make sure to subscribe and like and share this if you can slash will. That would really help me out. Thank you. Okay, so to start with, I'm just going to be taking my favourite eyeshadow of all time, this transition-y colour. I know I use it every video, but when it's right, it's right, girl. Um, so yeah, just gonna take this and pat that all over the eye to begin with. Okay, so now that that layer is on, um, what you wanna do, um, is actually, you wanna, it's like a circle, like it's sort of dark and it's going out from all sides. So what you want to do is you want to actually take that colour and sort of sweep it underneath as well. Like, not like just in that inner bit. You want to like really get like that whole under eye. You want to just basically create a circle around your eye. Maybe not go too crazy, like on top it's, you know, the colour's really there. but on the bottom you just want to keep it actually quite light. What I'm gonna do now is just gonna take a little brush go in with some white and just put that above just to make sure it's blended. You want it to be very smoky and blown out so make sure you're putting because what this does is it gives um, it gives that transition color something to blend into. What I am going to do now though is because I want that it's like an orange I do want it to sort of pop a bit more so I am going to go in with a sort of more orangey colour. You don't want to go too because you still want it to fade out so you want to keep this sort of tight in that crease area and not so much anywhere up. <laughs> Now, you want to start building the smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little brush and I'm going to go in to this brown. And with this, you want to start creating the smoke. So putting this, I need a... You want to just put, focus this on sort of the lid area, like here. Not the entire lid, because again, you want that smoky effect. So if you keep it close to the lash line. Um, and then take some of that brown and just sweep it underneath again you want it you want the whole thing to be exploding from your eye so don't keep it tight under here we're starting to see the look come together what I am gonna do is just because I want that brown to be a little more dark I'm just gonna go in with this color it's like a like a brownie um like a brownie purple kind of eh. um but what i'm gonna do with that is i'm just gonna sort of go over those bits okay now what i'm gonna do is 
gonna take this tiny tiny little smudger brush and go in with black and what you want to do with this you want to sort of line your lid keep it tight you want to keep this one tight to the, the um the lid to the lash line i mean This is a look that I do on, um, like I do this quite often, it's, I like it, it sort of gives me more of that grungier feel, and it's homage to my favourite queen, so. The whole point of this look is to make sure everything is blended, so you want to make sure you're blending every single step that you've got. You want to blend the black into the brown, the brown into the orange, the orange into the white. It, it's sort of, you want to sort of look like your eyelids like been burnt almost. You just don't want to look a little dead, so if you if you got that, then well done, you're doing drag. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my liquid liner and my NYX Jumbo Pencil in, oh, I think this is like Black B, yeah, Black B. And what you want to do is, um, you can do which step first, you know, doesn't really matter. Um, but what you want to do with the this is just sort of line your waterline. Now take a liquid liner or whatever and you just want to do your top. You don't want to wing it, you just want to keep it close to the lash line. Um, yeah, you want to keep it real tight, really, really tight. So, sort of. well, you want you, that, you know, that little bit that tiny bit of skin that's like where your lashes are growing out of you want to sort of paint that because that's where like you want to get rid of all like the skin color so if you get really tight in you can just get right above your lashes and sort of paint that good thing about this look is if you mess up it's okay because it just adds to the look like what I just did with my eyeliner. Eyes water and run all over the place. Well, just let it happen. I'm just gonna curl the lashes and prep them for some mascara. And that's mascara and liner. So. Um, what I used to do is I have a beauty mark right here, but because I use such a full coverage foundation, it sometimes get lost. So what I like to do is I take I like to take my little liner and sort of put it back in. Okay, I think the only thing left now is to do is a lip. Um, I'm not sure whether to do a brown or a red. I am just going to go on to Adore's Instagram and sort of just, you know, see. I'm just going to go in with Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lip in Leo. Love this shade. This is my go-to. Like, if I just need a look, I... This is it. This is 100% it. <laughs> I haven't worn this shade in so long. I was like, because I've just been trying to like be more experimental, I guess. Um, normally when I do do this look, I do take, oh fuck. Um, I like to take black and um, sort of make that dark brown, like um, in a previous video. But I'm not going to today. I pretty much like the way Leo looks by itself. Um, what I'm going to do now is add some highlighter. Okay, I'm actually going to be using two today. Um, I'm going to first go in with Ice Cold. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to layer on top of that some dark horse this is a very dark color and i am very pale so 
I'm literally not even gonna like touch it. I'm just you know. This sort of just like makes sort of like a like a golden colour. That golden he looks. So um even though this is very grungy and it would look um it would probably make more sense to sort of stay pale and stuff. Um I don't, I sort of wanna I I like to you know warm things up. Also Thank you, Pebbles, for barking. Okay, so that is highlight and everything done. Okay, so now that setting spray, everything is done, I'm gonna snatch this off my head. <laughs> Shake out that hair. And yeah, this is kind of the finished look. Um, I specifically wore my little red flannel for my baby adore. Um, but yeah. This is uh, this is the finished look. I really hope you like it. Um, let me bring you in for some clothes. <laughs> this is my adore Delano inspired look. Um, see you in another video. I hope you like the look. If you've recreated, let me know. Um, and yeah, goodbye.